just right ahead of us. Wow. Well, look, today we're here to launch Bushfire Action Week, an incredibly important time to gear up uh, the South Australian public to make sure they're ready uh, with their bushfire survival plan. Um, this is an incredibly important time of the year for South Australian families to start to get ready uh, for bushfires. We do expect um, a severe bushfire season no different to many years before and of course after the incredibly uh, wet winter we have there is of course a greater fuel load. So people do need to be prepared, uh, people do need to be ready to make sure they keep their families safe. We've got so much water in, on, in the inland that when we get uh, weather cycles coming through we could get a lot of uh, recycling of that moisture into, the, into our weather patterns. But uh, <clears throat> it will mean it's quite a variable uh, event and a, a quite energetic. And as a consequence uh, um, we could get just about anything this summer. I, I travelled up to Auburn yesterday um, and I had a, a good look around uh, all up through that part of uh, the state and also been up through uh, through the Barossa in the last couple of weeks. Uh, certainly a lot of grass out there, uh, that will certainly dry out um, and there's you know, any, any opportunity uh, for a fire to move through areas of the Barossa. Um, certainly last year with the Pinery Fire, um, that went to the northern part of the Barossa, uh, if that had continued uh, further south, that is, we've travelled further south than what it did, it would certainly have got into uh, the back of, of the, those key Barossa towns like Tanunda and Anguston um, and, and further afield. So, um, Granock was, uh, was pretty close, it pretty well went up to the doorstep of Granock. So, uh, people in the Barossa need to have a plan. Um, whilst it's still nice and green, it will dry out and it could be a hot day in February when, uh, when we least expect that weather may well be, you know, hot winds. Someone does something careless. Yes, but uh, it, it is more likely if we are to have uh, a major bushfire, given the wet that we've had, that it would be after Christmas. Uh, certainly in and around Adelaide. Uh, certainly around uh, uh, the, the Barossa part, the northern northern part of uh, the, the Mount Lofty Ranges. Um, I'd expect by January we'll have a fair bit of dry material around, uh, and the soils will dry it out a bit more as well. Um, so yeah, we could certainly have the possibility of a serious fire coming down from the, the north or the west, uh, threatening communities in the Barossa. I brought Daisy along today because in Bushfire Action Week we're asking people to make a plan for the oncoming summer. Um, and people often forget to include their pets and their other domestic animals in their plan. So, uh, I thought bringing Daisy along would be an opportunity to have a, a visual effect that these are you know, part of your family and, uh, and most families have, have pets and they need to be included in the bushfire action plan when you prepare one. And what would you recommend you put in an action plan for pets? Um, I would recommend you need to put in um, food um, because you might be away for two or three or four days if your property is adversely affected. In fact, you might be thinking about uh, kenneling dogs, for instance, or, or putting cats in catteries. Um, so you might have to find temporary accommodation for them. So in your plan it might be they could go to mum's place or to brother and sisters or, or, or another relative. Um, because if people go into temporary accommodation, they may not be able to have their pets with them. And uh, perhaps more important than uh, the wife or the children. Oh look, I don't think I'll uh, make too many comments around that. I think just make sure the whole family is catered for. So wife, children, uh, pets and other domestic animals, yeah. And so what are you packing for her lunch in your bushfire emergency plan? Oh, we've, um, we live by the sea, so um, our, probably our biggest danger is tsunami, I think. But uh, yeah, we've, we've always got a, a kit. Uh, we go away camping and uh, we have a kit for, for Daisy. And what does she like to eat? Um, Yummy chicken.